Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFTs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session Friday, 27th of July 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals for market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app by the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of European markets, basically we have um, Asian markets overnight lackluster. Okay, US markets certainly did recover on the back of. Uh, Amazon earnings certainly seems to be saving the day there, although they were weak due to uh, the situation with regards to Facebook. Shanghai certainly finishing down, Nikkei finishing slightly higher. Okay, in terms of European markets, certainly continue to surge. Mr. Draghi offered nothing new really from that perspective, caused the euro to fall, which obviously is bullish for the uh, European equities. Okay, and also Mr. Juncker and Mr. Trump certainly neutralizing or de-escalating in terms of potential trade wars and trade tariffs. And uh, the market certainly short squeezing on potential hope that there may well be a potential deal. That's the status quo there. In terms of earnings this morning, BT earnings coming in stronger than expected, slightly stronger than expected, basically from that perspective. And uh, we've also got, uh, like I said, Amazon earnings yesterday certainly helped as well. Uh, but this morning we've got uh, Twitter got down almost 20% on the back of weaker potential uh, user growth okay numbers so that certainly doesn't bode well same with uh, facebook as well so the two uh, major driving forces you've got twitter and uh, facebook both obviously uh, are weaker okay so it certainly seems like the uh, so-called social media craze is coming to an end okay you're oh, reaching saturation point that's basically where we stand now the focus today we have had uh, French GDP numbers coming weaker than expected. Uh, German import prices uh, stronger than expected. Uh, we've got uh, retail sales from Spain more or less uh, slightly beat. Okay, now obviously everybody's keeping their eyes and focus on uh, the US GDP number. That certainly will uh, shift the market and shift market expectations. So watch out for a potential move there. Now in terms of the technical picture, let's see exactly where we stand. Now the German DAX, like I said, has, has continued to surge. We've closed that gap at the 12,840 and obviously we've pushed even higher. The next potential gap is 13,000. We are now approaching the FIB 75% uh, retracement level as well, so one has to respect that. 60 minute charts, like I said, we've closed the gap, certainly pushing higher here. Uh, in terms of horizontal resistance, I mean, next resistance is at 12,930. That's your real resistance, and eventually, then obviously, you've got look, looking at 13. 010 as gap fill, so watch out below. Now, we do have one fill gap below at 12580, so watch out for that potential uh, gap fill level as well. 10 minute chart also has a gap below. Uh, you've got one at 12580. Also, you have another gap here. Let's just draw this in for you. Okay, so basically, uh, yes, that seems like that's the only gap at present. So from what I can understand from the 10 minute chart, okay, I thought there was a gap below, but there isn't. Okay, so we're just basically um, uh, adhering to this diagonal trend line at the moment. Just keep an eye on that uh, in terms of the next potential move, potentially draw this diagonal, this high diagonal trend line as well. The unfilled gap, like I said, below at 12,580, so watch out below. Okay, nothing really of any horizontal support uh, importance there on the uh, 10 minute chart. Now, moving on to the French GAC, certainly thrusting higher here as well. I mean, we did have gap fill on the daily chart, so I'll just bring that up for you. You've got gap fill here at uh, 5503, so watch out there. 60 minute chart, let's see exactly where we're trading now again. You've got gap fill, horizontal resistance is seen around 5510, so watch out, resistance 5510. And then you've also got resistance at 5,500. 10 minute chart, okay, continue to thrust higher. We do have the unfilled gap below at 5,430, so watch out below. In terms of the FTSE 100 then, last but not least, we've got resistance here around this 7,709. Looking for a potential for slower back down to 7,678, 7,680, and then obviously eventually back down to 7,640. So watch out for those two key support levels down below okay and the 10 minute chart giving you more of an insight you've got an unfilled gap below now at 7660 and that's the one that we're looking to potentially target so again looking for risk aversion okay from my perspective given the fact that uh, the concerns with regards to china still remain europe hasn't really resolved anything okay from that perspective it's just words and we all know mr trump can u turn very quickly and uh, focus remains now on US GDP numbers. On that note, please be sure to visit Trade Signal 
signals the market uh, we see uh, providers and also visit cfds.com to take advantage of that bonus goodbye